Another piece of information you may find useful for EPW2 saving time is the use of the speed ratio. We know that speed equals distance over time and this formula can be used to find any one of those three components. It can be rearranged to find speed, distance or time. In your EPW you often are required to find the time element. So this formula can be rearranged to find time. Time equals distance divided by speed. So if we require to find the time, a car travelling at five kilometers per hour and the distance it travels is 20 kilometers and we'd like to find the time it takes to travel this distance we can use our formula to solve that problem you may find this helpful for your EPW2 saving time So we can use this formula to be able to find an unknown time. So let's fill in what we know. Time, we don't know. The distance the car travels is 20 kilometres. The speed it is travelling at is 5 kilometres per hour. So the time it takes for the car to travel 20 kilometres at 5 kilometres per hour is 20 divided by 5, which is 4. Notice our time must be in hours. You may find this information useful when you're trying to solve problems for EPW2 saving time.